for people in health and education sector this one is for you don't go anywhere let's go welcome back to my youtube channel guys yay <laughs> the top 10 jobs that the shortage leaves in this category we have number one medical practitioners like i mean do you really need to be told do you really need to be told that we have doctors that doctors have to be on that list <laughs> yes so doctors are part of the shortage occupation list in the uk they're number one they're number one on the health and education list Number two is do, 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 wait for it because a lot of you don't know this psychologist. But please, please, I'm begging if you're not a psychologist, if you do not study psychology in Nigeria and you study something totally unrelated, don't just try and switch your course immediately. If you don't have you don't even have passion because a lot of people make that mistake, like you just because you had our PLI session to your specialist, you don't have any background, you don't have any passion in something, you don't have the work experience, you don't have the educational experience, you just decide to switch. Please do your research. I'm not asking you not to switch, but I'm not telling you to switch either. Just do your research, okay? Just do your research. Do your research. Look for job opportunities that are in line with your experience or your background or just genuinely make sure you are passionate about that field you want to cross into don't just do it for the opportunity or because you heard from someone that was the shortage occupation list thank you let's go on to the third job on the list the third job on the list is for pharmacists and see the thing with psychologists and pharmacists is that it's a very tricky thing because of certain registrations that you need to do even for doctors you know you have to write certain exams so it's very tricky it is very tricky to just cross into these professions you have to make sure you are doing the right postgraduate course that will uh, that will help you register that will help you get your registration because there are some psychology courses that will not help you get registered and there are some that will help you that grants you that helps you register i've forgotten the term for a but yeah there are some courses that will help you register with the body and be able to practice after you graduate and there are some that will just just like teaching so yeah so for pharmacists and psychologists and doctors the tricky thing yes the short of occupation is but you have to do your further research into being able to get your registered and being able to practice in the uk all right and the fourth job of this this is for so medical radiographers <laughs> there's also a category for health professionals that are not being categorized like they are not mentioning who they are specifically but health professionals and please take note public health is not part of the list for health and education professionals according to the uk public health is part of the general category it is not part of the health and education category just take note because a lot of people make that mistake that oh yeah public no no this is straight from the uk this is straight from the uk according to the uk government they do categorize public health as part of the jobs in healthcare thank you so yeah the next job category is for for physiotherapists Physiotherapist in the building, raise up your hands. <laughs> I'm legit hyper. I think I'm hyper. I'm too hyper for this video. But yeah, physiotherapists are needed in the UK. Yeah, let's go to the next one. So we have occupational therapists. Yeah, occupational therapists are needed in the UK. So if you think that's something that might, related to, that might be related to what you're doing or something you've been doing, then go for it okay and then we have speech and language therapists this is a very fascinating job i think i'm fascinated by the whole speech and language therapist thing because I'm... this video is not about me though but this video is not about me but anyway <laughs> speech and language therapist yeah you're needed you're needed in the uk come 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 come, come. we're waiting we're waiting we're waiting all right guys so the next one i mean you all already know this one nurses nurses 
nurses yes why am i clapping <laughs> why am i clapping nurses are needed okay we need you we need you like the earth needs water we need you like the world needs rain we need you like we just need you okay let me stop with my stupid comparisons we need you yeah you get the point all right so the, the next one is for secondary school teachers my people yay <laughs> what is wrong with me all right guys so secondary school teachers i mean this one i'll be getting messages about it yeah secondary school teachers are shortage of officials but only for specific subjects okay okay let's now let's take a look at the subject secondary school teachers for math physics science computer science and modern foreign languages do with that what you will but these are the areas that they need secondary school teachers so if you're in the science field high five good job well done you are needed okay so another but there's also yes they also need secondary school teaching professionals in scotland to teach gaelic gaelic am i pronouncing that right am i pronouncing that right is it gaelic let's check let's check before i embarrass my lineage my entire lineage let me check gaelic ah? okay. okay good i'm not an unload though after all i know my stuff yes they need teachers know how to teach gaelic so if you know how to i don't know any, whether any nigerian person knows how to teach gaelic but if you do know how to teach gaelic they need you in scotland scotland specifically not in the entire uk scotland also needs primary and nursery teachers for all subjects but you have to not speak gaelic like you have to teach in gaelic using gaelic so basically that's it you also have to understand gaelic to be able to teach in here right so that's it they need primary and secondary and nursery, whatever, but you have to not speak Gaelic. So, if you know how to speak Gaelic, I don't know how, whether that's possible. But if you do, then three more jobs on this list. And let's just quickly round up social workers. If you're a social worker, or if your course is in social work, then good for you. The new social workers in the UK is on the social occupation list. Then they also need paramedics. So, yeah. Paramedics. I don't know. Do we have paramedics in Nigeria? <laughs> Do we? I don't know. Don't let me make jests, okay? No, I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing so that I don't sound somebody would not come and insult me and be like, you're you're not enlightened, you know, you're not enlightened. We we do have paramedics in Nigeria. If we do, I'm sorry. I just don't know. But yeah, they need paramedics in the UK. And the last job on this shortage occupation list is for nursing auxiliaries yeah nursing auxiliaries that's the last one on the list and that brings us to the end of our shortage occupation list in the uk of jobs that are needed or areas where they need people and that's the end that's the end if you've not gotten if your job has not been mentioned at this point please that's it. Don't come and don't come and insult me, please. Don't come and insult me, my team. I'm not the one that created the list. Please, thank you. I love you. I love you. But just remember, subscribe to my channel, okay? And share it with people. Share it, okay? Share it with your friends, your family, your enemies, your baby mama, your baby daddy, your side chick, your side mama. Go. Just share. Don't stress me. Thank you. I love you. Bye. -ya.